Okay. Yeah. Um, welcome all to this uh, <laughs> Foundational Infrastructure Working Group meeting. Uh, yeah, uh, first item is that we uh, have a new contributor um, for our working group uh, who has made uh, a bunch of PRs to the Azure CPI and also is working on Porsche Agent and uh, Porsche Linux stem cell builder. Um, yeah, uh, this will be the first step in becoming an approver eventually, hopefully. Uh, I've had a call with him on Slack uh, yesterday and he was interested in this. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what comes from this. Uh, this is, I think the first time that the this process is actually gonna happen since the TOC was formed. So we'll see <laughs> what roadblocks there are. I mean, it's a really simple change. It's just adding a, a name to a file, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so with that out of the way, I think we can go over the open pull request. Just, uh, just a question, uh, who needs to approve this uh, PR? Uh, yes, how is the process? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out uh, next TOC meeting. Um, okay. So maybe it's just us um, as a tech lead for the working group, but I don't know, but let's see. Um, so I at least added you in the CC so that you are aware what's going on there. Um, yeah, so let's see, we have, yeah, this change. Um, I think all my children are getting sick. They are like, I don't know, crazy currently. So pardon the background noise. It's more extreme than usual. Uh, it usually yeah. happens when they all start to be sick and it's usually all at the same time. So it's gonna be a fun weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um, so hopefully not. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Maybe just <laughs> excite. <laughs> uh, um let's see yeah this was um had to do with the um uh setups nets firewall stuff this is an addition uh, it's we found out that it broke um wardens themselves um so on wardens themselves it should uh exit early that's the idea do not do this on more than stem cells because it doesn't make sense there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And the length of available V1 groups is relevant for knowing Here. you are on a water stem cell? It says just like this is a check to check if warden if we are on the warden stem cell. Uh, isn't it more uh, obvious to check the infrastructure name uh, in the agent yeah. config? Would probably be a better check, and that's why there's a PR <laughs> <laughs> with the reviews. So yeah, that that would be a good way. I I think that be maybe better yeah i was looking at this i was like mm, i don't know is this like something we yeah. can guarantee that won't break in other places mm. but yeah i mean it's a small change so just add that as a comment i think that would be great mm. Mm. but ramon thinks it's fine <laughs> <laughs> um, okay let's see what else so uh what's the id again uh, uh 268 268 um, this one has been reviewed 10 days ago so we just need to ping joseph basically to get this going i will um start a comment collect all the things that are blocked on Joseph. Uh, and I will ping him directly after the call. Okay. Because this one should just be reviewed and merged and, and then 
10 year certificates that's still waiting on a refactor. Um, well, actually, also uh, ping Adam because he's from VMware as well, another team. But uh, I've had contact with him before, so I'll ping him about that. Done. Um, Big limit memory C groups. Story here. Yeah, a test. So we're still waiting on this. Okay. Um, yeah, Sven has reached out to me and that was quite some time ago. He has pinged me again today. I definitely need to check this out. Um, yeah, I will also ping Joseph about this one. Um, okay. This one, there was a comment that he's still working on this today, four hours ago. It's coming. This one, I think there was some movement here, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Donatello has sent the agent logs and I've checked those. Uh, yeah, actually the discussion is in the issue. Unfortunately, yeah, yes, here. let's do that. Um, is it not here? Where is it? In the related issue. Oh, this so, one. Yeah, 252. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's strange. The Bosch acceptance test is supposed to create a two gigabyte disk and migrate to a four gigabyte disk. How could we end up with a 20 gigabyte disk? Um, uh, it's, it, it's strange. But uh, what I see in the logs is the expected behavior. Uh -huh. The new disk is uh, detected, mounted, partitioned, migrated, and then the old disk is unmounted. So everything seems fine. Yeah. Um, so you need an agent log to further debug, right? Well, yeah, uh, but why 20 gigabytes? It's uh, just yeah, weird. weird. But this mm. is already an agent log, right? Yeah, the, uh, I, that's what I've read. Uh, that's what I've just checked. Uh, uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. he, so he. You looked at that agent log, or? Yeah, yeah. I, I just looked at that. And based on that, you had yeah. So elf, uh, eleven minutes mm -hmm. ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, what 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 else do you need? Uh, oh, for, from when well, the first disk was created. Yeah, I would need a confirmation that this is this comes from the Bosch acceptance test because the, the disk size doesn't match, or uh, what was the pro the, the the test or uh -huh. something. Yeah. But uh, and why 
how could the the size be the same as before? But it's a definitely it's definitely a different disk. So yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Seems legit. <clears throat> I'm trying to understand why. I mean, this is we're not dealing with ERP templating or something. Why can we not bump net and SMTP? Hmm. Oh, so maybe the gem is not compatible. I think it's just not compatible. In it. So it's, it's basically fixing an. Oh, wait, not fault and fall. That's fine. Um, So it's probably a, a gem that's really old. Not that old. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, uh, okay. Issues. Would be nice if there's at least an upstream issue to get this fixed, maybe in the future. But yeah. I mean, this is, this seems like a reasonable solution. Um, Okay, so who, okay, yeah, that's. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, actually, uh, Benjamin, if you want to do, uh, are busy or something, you can also understand yourself. Uh, but this was just what the uh, what GitHub decided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's all. This actually should be in pending review. And we, with the, the way uh, the monkey patch is done, seems co seems correct to you. I mean, I don't, I don't know. The the, the, fine, the fine names. By names including monkey patch. Yeah, that's what, the what they call it in Ruby, right? A monkey patch. Oh, that's the original name. That that's like what they refer to as like this type of patching. I think ah. like a way of patching. Is it is the same just in W or <laughs> hmm? sorry? Is it our new contributor just in W? No, just in uh, No, it's a, it's a different. No, I didn't, no it isn't. All right. Okay. <laughs> it is actually just he joined Slack recently, so it is just in. Uh, Webster. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, that, this is what they call it. So I, I wouldn't. I should read that. And yeah, uh, but it's yeah. just re reopening a class and overwriting a method or something. I think that that's the idea. But yeah, I mean, there's even a test for it, so it seems mm -hmm. good enough, I guess. But yeah, that, that's okay. for, for you all to decide. Um, I forget the issues. So last time we did this. Tent. Okay, so we have this one. Can you...
Okay. I don't understand why. This is like really not a lot of context. Yeah, the motivation is not so clear. But I'm like that person says he's uh, there in the VMware Slack, so I reach out because I mean we with NVM or have an internal process for requesting features. So, I mean, it's okay that I have this, but if they want the, the Bosch VMware team to work on this, they should they follow a different process because like, unless someone in the, otherwise this goes to open for contribution and I don't think that person wants that. So I'm just gonna reach out and get some details there. I uh, will assign it to myself. All right, but if okay. Jeff was behind the initial issue, then also Jeff works for VMware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can also uh, figure out. Uh, should yeah. be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. But it's, it's just about like who's going to work on it, right? And I want to mm -hmm. figure out like is this something? If if it's multiple customers that want this, it should be something that is prioritized on the VMware side. I don't know if like someone else want to quickly jump on this, but I don't expect that. So this would be more of a get someone in VMware to prioritize this. I see absolutely no added value for me. <laughs> no, so. And when you send yourself... Uh, uh, it's just a reminder. Like, if I'm assigning myself, that means that if they start asking questions, they will probably like start paying mm -hmm. me. Like if I forget uh, this issue, um, so th there's it, like it, things that are prioritized and then I usually try to assign someone. Mm -hmm. um, so that means someone is working on it. I don't want to set this to prioritize because I am still gonna find out if we are gonna prioritize, but at least I'm gonna be the point, point person on this issue to get mm -hmm. that figured out if we're gonna prioritize this. And when you send yourself, it goes away from this um, board? No, it, it goes, no, 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 it stays Oh, it's, it's, it's an, there, right. It, okay. Yeah, it just, I moved it to a discussion, a different phase. So it's not an inbox anymore. Right, right, right. It's moving from a stage to another, right. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. And then okay. um, we have the 10. So everything that has been just, so this one had new things. The last activity and this one as well. Um, let's see what the last activity was. Oh, that's the still bot. Oh. That's okay. Uh, create films. Oh, all the All the Okay. Postgres 10. Um, that, that is the reason, the most recent, right? Yeah, that's this one. Oh no, we have 13. Then it's not the latest one. No, and Postgres 10 is, but I, is that, what, what is Bosch deployment using? Currently 13, I guess. Oh, let's try that. Yeah, Postgres is, is version 13. Hmm? 
Uh, yeah, the job. Oh, well, job it should be the job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first quest uh, with no, yeah, yeah with no version. It's the latest one. Hmm. Okay, so they are not on the latest then, right? And then the question is one: When was this updated? Okay, so that's 13 months ago. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask them to try upgrading to this because this is like way newer. Because I'm like, yeah, ideally we don't support the older versions. But I want to rule out that this is like a uh, post something we already solved. Yeah, something we already solved. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, we probably should like start cleaning these up in the Bosch release. Yes, I think so too. I don't think we need them anymore. Who made this typo? I think we left them there because other other things were depending on it, other jobs were co-located, but I think they should just yeah. be removed at some point. What's a pre atar uh, atar No, oh, that was pre-start. <laughs> Supposed to be pre start. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that was that one. And then what else? This is probably again the steel bolts and then the bump. Why not? Yes. <laughs> nice. This has been already for so long. Yeah. This, this person just. But Bosch know. Lite is now broken anyways. It's, it is doesn't it? work. It yeah, works on my machine. Yeah, not not with the yeah with older stuff, not with the latest. Uh, I'm I'm on latest Bosch deployment. With Bionic? Uh, I said yeah, I think it's with Bionic. Yeah, I'm using Bosch de Bosch deployment, so that's Bionic. It's, this is weird because Garden Run C is currently not it's the templating Ooh. is not working. Yeah. Unless you unless you use socket, of course. Sorry. I, I haven't tried deploying something, but it does come up. Well, well I, I cannot even deploy I cannot even go through the to the init uh, to the Bosch int phase uh, the templating. Because okay. it says it, it, it misses uh well with all the Ruby version. Oh oh yeah, this was the problem with. All the Ruby versions, it works. So if you use Ruby 2.6, it mm -hmm. works perfectly fine. If you yeah, use that, Ruby 2.7 higher, then it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, so 2.6 is what, what comes default on the uh, on Mac OS. Yes. So yeah, that's why it works for you. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I, I have already made a, a fix for that PR, but... I mean, you could also just buy a Mac. Or I could just set set the lower. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, I just okay. don't want to set my global Ruby to two dot six. <laughs> it's just not what I want. <laughs> I understand. Um, okay. 
what else is here? Yeah, there we already looked at that discussion. Uh, this one is taken you're, care you're of. You already assigned? Was assigned? I think did we didn't we do it? I know there's a story. No, we didn't. Nope, it's not done yet. Okay. I will check in those one. Uh, where that story is at. But yeah, that, that's it. Um, there's nothing else we want to discuss. Uh, I just wanted to, to ask, uh, I think uh, Ruben and Behan, I, I just I shared that uh, spreadsheet with you about four oh, yeah. five hundred repositories. No, no urgency. It looks like there's about 20 that we think may be in foundational infrastructure or, or should be archived, but you would have best context into that. So no, no rush, just wanted to ask. Yeah, I made a start with that, but it's... Uh... Cool. For archiving, um, what exactly? Oh, so basically I just, um, I, uh, I ran through all the uh, repositories in the Cloud Foundry GitHub board. Um, and there's about 120 or so that are not currently listed in a working group but are also not archived. So we want to either assign those formally to a working group and add them to the charter or archive them so that all, all assets in the Cloud Foundry are, you know, belong to someone. So basically I just, yeah, there it is. So, you know, I pinged the uh, app runtime platform already went through theirs um, and then app runtime interfaces and foundational infrastructure both have large chunks. And then uh, the other is all, I'll ping once once those big chunks are done. Um, you know, there's just a couple for service management, a couple for deployment, um, and then some that you know the CFF owns. Um, but just trying to work through mm. the loop. Why are we getting like fun the foundational infrastructure is just like the the trash can basically? Like I'm so <laughs> sorry about that. It's I mean, like, it's just yeah. anything Bosch, MySQL. I mean, yeah, but I'm like, go fetch her. Like, that's oh, not yeah. a thing that we rely that, on. Yeah, that should not be foundational infrastructure. That is like, yes, that is. But this is like, yeah, it's not uh, ARP. So, like, yeah, maybe it's foundational <laughs> infrastructure. It's like, no. It's a, it's a collaborative project, and various people are commenting, and, you know, don't take it. Just write, write in the notes, like not foundational infrastructure. And yeah, but then what? Like then we're, because I think there's, there's going to be some it. that aren't in a working group, right? Like I can, there could be one category for like CFF admin stuff. Go fetcher is kind of that, right? That was fun. Yeah, I, this is more like a, I don't know, Chris Clark owns it. Like, yeah, well, I mean, I mean <laughs> VMware actually <laughs> has it deployed, I think. Unless we have it deployed now, I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, yeah, if you want to change that to CFF, that's fine. I can own that. Figure out what to do with it. Um, oh, like that—that that means we're gonna get, we're gonna get that. Like, uh, I mean, we basically at some point will end up with some sort of like working group that owns the things that run the foundation. And I mean, like, for example, the community uh, automation would be also something like that, right? It's like this, yeah, yeah it's like sure. a, a shared service across the foundation. Yeah, I get, I mean, I don't know if that needs its own working group or, or if there's just one category of repositories that are owned by like, yeah, CFF admin or something. I don't know if you'd call that a working group, but I mean, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe, I mean, like that would be an interesting discussion to have with a TLC, but, I guess. Yeah, so basically I'm trying to get this list of 125 down to a list mm -hmm. of about, you know, a dozen, and then uh, then we can talk about what to do with the edge cases. Oh, I see you already have CFF here. Yeah, I've got for, for some of those things, like this, the logos and community would be in there too, right? So yeah, you can just give that to me. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. And, uh, uh, did, did you share this um, uh, Google Sheets uh, document in um, uh, main, the CF main list? No, um, I didn't. I mean, I figure it should be easy enough. I with this number of them, I, I went to the TOC first and I had like Eric and people take a pass at it because I figured he'd have the best context. Uh, and then I just, all I've done so far is ping the, you know, the three working groups that have what we think are a lot of repositories that they'd have context into, the foundational infrastructure, platform and interfaces. That's all I've done so far. Once we get the list whittled down, you know, if there are some that are kind of still orphaned, then 
I, you know, I don't know if the mailing list makes sense, but, but maybe the homebrew one is a, is a funny one. No one knows what to do with that. Homebrew tap. <laughs> That's CFF, definitely. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, I'm not maintaining that. So, no. so that that's that's what i'm saying like there yeah. should be like we with the cff stuff we're we're gonna get at a point where it's like yeah maybe there should be a working group uh, yeah but then like who's gonna staff that i i don't know like <laughs> right i mean you know i can i can monitor those things but i'm not going to be maintaining homebrew tap um no but yeah we'll see i don't know um, yeah, and there's definitely going to be some that are sort of other, and I think we need to we need to come up with with what that is. Then, if if there are some assets that are not in a working group, you know, what's the what are the rules for that, basically? Yeah. Um, but first, but I figured we just there's a lot of these that can be archived, and a lot of these that are probably need to be added to working groups. Like in the app runtime platform, it looks like they there's like 20 or more that weren't in the that, that are being maintained, that are being used, that need to be added to their charter. I, I have no idea what percentage, maybe half of these need to come into foundation. I, I think most of these are like, do make sense. Like yeah. uh, the Bosch compile action is like one that I find really interesting. I wasn't aware of it. Um, it's apparently something that you can use to run Bosch compile in a GitHub action without a director. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, where does it get the stem cell from? And like, who made this? Um, I need this. <laughs> it's, also, it's, uh, it's also very Gareth, new, right? It's Gareth. Gareth, just Gareth is, he's working with Engineer Beta. Yeah, I, I saw it. It's people from, mm. but I don't know how this ended up in the community or in the Cloud Foundry org. Right. It, yeah. I mean, good question. That, yeah. that's, that's a fair question. Maybe it belongs in Cloud Foundry community, different org, right? Like, if, if yeah, we're not going to own this, if the if the approvers from like this would be foundational infrastructure if it was going to be in a working group. But yeah, if but this I'm is like, not foundational infrastructure, if it's Gareth's and an engineer betters, then it should probably be in Cloud Foundry community. Um, yeah. So that's you know that's an that's a, we might have to reach out to them about that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe Andy Payne has. Uh kept uh, the uh, grants for creating new repos, yeah. uh, possibly. Um, I've seen in the list something that I um, identify as, yeah, Greenhouse CI is the, the continuous Windows integration. Stuff. Yeah, That's Greenhouse CI. Years. That's definitely up runtime. No, no, no. So for no, Windows. No. Isn't it? Yeah, but no, I mean, like uh, the Windows stuff is foundational infrastructure. Like we publish those. Oh, uh, for Bush Windows. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. it's being updated, but it does say deprecated on it. That's why I didn't, you know. So I don't know if this should be archived or if it's being used. Yeah, but then like long touched it eight days ago and exactly. just like nine days ago. So I say yeah. this is pretty actively being maintained, right. but deprecated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like we inherited all those re uh, resources from back when there was like a dedicated Windows team, and then the window the so I think they were in the process of deprecating that, but I mean that's not something that like, that's currently active being done actively being done. Uh, so we're just keeping the st status quo quo, I guess like just getting that. Hmm. But not developing it further uh, currently. Mm -hmm. The rest, uh, systematic release. Uh, yeah, I think CFI identity makes, test release. The, we'll check them, but I think this makes sense because there's something yeah. like around syslog and metrics in mm. foundational infrastructure. So, probably makes sense. Mm. Um, this one, I, I wouldn't. No, that that's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not it, specific to financial infrastructure. No, we don't like. There's no reference to it in any of the repos that we own. Okay. So this would be. I I found that it's used by P runtime, which is some internal thing. 
Mm. Yeah, would make sense. Mm. Yeah, so this this makes sense, switchboard. Yeah. 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 So just marking a you know the column over where like a ARP marked it, just break like yes, financial. Oh yeah. Picture. Okay. Or, yeah, we'll do that. Or, but I, or, or just write archive or, or um, you know, write a note saying like, this is not foundational infrastructure, you don't know what this is, or maybe try this group or, you know. Yeah, just, just annotate that. And I guess once you're done with that, you know, feel free to just put in a pull request and take those in to the manifest and then mark that, right? Oh yeah, the ones that are, yeah. Yeah, the ones that need to go to foundational infrastructure, you can go ahead and put in a pull request to the charter and, mm -hmm. you know, take them and then say that that's happened and I'll delete it from the list. Perfect. Cool. And is it uh, while listing those repositories that you saw that Stratos has no maintainer anymore? Yeah, Stratos is kind of in its own little world there. Um, I think Eric was gonna reach out to the community about mm. if someone wants to pick it up. And I guess- um, no, I want to. Yeah, Norm mentioned he might be interested in that. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. And then the CF for Kate's project is, you know, going to be archived, but, it, you know, so I, it, probably not till we have a beta of the CF on Kate's project soon. Um, so I put that in its own kind of separate column, um, but that will sort itself out fairly soon. And in, in this uh, in this table, what, what does ARP mean? Oh, that's just shorthand for app runtime platform. They've already gone through, and they've, you know, the green check mark is things that they're going to take, uh -huh. right? Um, and then the, the, you know, project that it goes under. So, yeah, oh, so, and, and it's so, so nice and clean. CFO Kate is candidate for archiving. Well, uh, I, I don't know. It's not being actively worked on. So once CF on Kate's is actually released, right? Then presumably, or, or certainly once it hits G GA. I would think they would they would then archive CF four k So, I, I mean, no one's working on it right now. Um, I believe it's being maintained, but they're not working on it because all the efforts in CF on Kates, which is about to have a brand new name, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that'll be the you know the reference deployment for Cloud Foundry on Kubernetes. Uh, I I have missed something. So there is a CF on Kates. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, there's a when did the, when did that pop up? <laughs> that's what they're working on now. So basically, the CF four Kates ran into some architecture architectural limitations, I guess we'll say. So they they kind of have started over on CF. It's right now it's called CF on Kates, but it's going to have a better name in a few weeks. Uh, <laughs> but say it, it CF, be... the difference is like CF on Kates is like well, basically using Kubernetes operators to implement the C re implement the CF API. So you don't need an like you would just use all the existing plumbing that's in Kubernetes instead of trying to put the cloud controller in UAA and everything on top of Kubernetes, right? Uh -huh. So it also changed the CF CLI to be able to use um, uh, Kubernetes native authentication and stuff. But then it is using so you will be able to use the CF CLI by just installing some operators on your Kubernetes cluster. And then in the end, it will use Irene to do the app things. So it's a that's, way more lightweight approach to doing this whole thing. That's the primary repository uh, I just put into the chat. If you want to take a look. Then. OK, so the cloud controller is replaced by uh, some Kubernetes operator. The Capi controller, yeah. And oh, so UAA right. is also not there. So. Oh. So yeah, and, and that should hit a an initial release maybe in April, um, and then you know I, I don't know when a GA would come, but 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 the plan is that this there, this will be the the method for deploying CF on Kubernetes, and the CF four Kates project, much touted, will sort of be you know pushed aside. Um, so yeah, I mean that's a it's a big big project. Okay, okay, nice to know. Um, yeah, if we could have uh, some communication on the mailing list, it would be. Oh nice. yeah, I mean, th there'll be a big promotion once once we hit the GA. Um, uh, yeah, right. be, all of this will be communicated. Like, hey, you know, why another CF on Kate's project? 
Right. Yeah. And all of that all right. will be to everyone, but, but this has been, they've been working on this pretty hard for a while um, and it's, it's almost ready. And I think we just found a name that I need to confirm, get confirmation from the team to go with that. Um, so. All right. Yeah. Good, good to know. Yep. Yeah, so that's it. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah, thanks. And just ping me whenever you're done with that, uh, Ruben. Sure. And, uh, we'll move from there. All right. There's nothing else. Uh, well, I'm gonna close this meeting. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. See yeah. you later. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.